Now, I'm here with Willie Bean from Kulail and Ruthangan. Um, some stories um, from Ruthangan and, um, and from your area in Kulailan. What sort of stories from years back have you got there that might be of, of interest to us all from Ruthangan? Well, there's one story uh, known as, as the Soldier's Cap, which is just up the road from my home place. Um, it, the theory goes that this um, one of the yeomen was returning from the battle and hanging, and he was wounded, and was a lady carrying a bucket of water, and he stopped to get a drink, and he dismounted his horse, and she saw the opportunity, and she killed him with his bayonet. Right. And some of the local men, some of the local men buried him there at the, the at Harry Burns Gate there, which is 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 the road down to, to Burns. Right. It's known as the Soldier's Cap. Right. So, so they weren't going to they weren't going to admit to it anyway. They no. Going... The the new graveyard was opened in 1932 and um, they they were widening the road there and the remains of the soldier was taken out of it and he was buried in one of the a plot in the uh, new cemetery in Ruthangan. Ah, right, right, okay. And that goes, what, what year would have been that now? What, would have been back quite a bit then? That was in, in the 1798 when that happened, but it, it was reburied, he was reburied then in 1932. But you have more stories from that area as well, I think, and around that time, haven't you? Well, the field opposite the, the, the soldier's cap which is now Jacob's Field. Mm. Um, there was an encampment of, of English soldiers in that field. And uh, some kind of a, of a bee broke out among them. And there was supposed to be 150 of them buried in that field that died. So it was supposed to be haunted, that corner. Right, okay. So, I mean, it was a, it was a corner not to be travelled late at night. Yeah. Well, you couldn't <laughs> travel. <laughs> You'd be afraid of your life, you know. And had you seen it in yourself? All the no. times you walk back, walked in and out of the town, <laughs> past that corner. The only time I, I, I saw something was coming home on my bicycle one evening from work, and I was only serving my time, and it was during the winter time, and a, a sheep ran across our Dimpy's field, across into into uh, Jacob's field. That's all I saw, but I, I got a fright, all right, but okay. No. You survived. You survived to tell the tale. Yeah. Well, listen, th thanks, Willie, for that. And um, it was great hearing the stories from years ago. And, and uh, they won't be lost now. They'll be, they'll be retold now. OK, I didn't write you. All right.